Hi guys, and welcome to the Stephen King Cemetery Club. Hi guys, I was recording and my battery ran out, so I am back to doing this on my phone just because I wanted to get it done now. We are on the next short story in Night Shift, which is Grey Matter. It's not one of my favorites. I think it's okay. It reminds me a tiny bit of Salem's Lot in that the main characters in this are old men who are hanging out at a 24-hour convenience store and it reminds me of the old men who sit around in Salem's Lot talking at Milt Crossan's grocery store. And these old men are in there and there's a snowstorm raging outside. They really haven't seen much in the way of, you know, customers coming in. All of a sudden a boy bursts in. His name is Timmy Grenadine and he is very upset. He has just come from home. His dad has sent him out to get beer and the owner of the store starts talking to him in the back room, asking him, you know, what's been going on? Why are you so upset? Timmy tells him this whole story and he leaves Timmy in the store, takes some of the guys who are hanging out and he says, you guys want to come with me? I'm bringing a gun. Timmy has told me some very disturbing things. And of course, their first thought is that the father has been beating Timmy or something like that. No one has seen the father, Richie, for about four months. Henry is the store owner. and He's the one who heard the story and has been disseminating the information to the other people. So he is telling the story about what Timmy told him. So apparently, Richie had some beer, drank it all, said it tasted horrible, and afterward he started acting sluggish, different, felt sick, didn't like light being near him. He was just very bizarre afterward. And he basically turned into a gray blob of slime. And never leaves the apartment anymore. He sends Timmy down to get beer. They sell Timmy the beer because they know it's just for his father. And as things progress, as he gets more and more sickly, he just sits in his chair and drinks beer. Timmy is getting more and more concerned. At one point he spies on his dad and there is a hole in the wall. His dad pulls out a dead cat and eats it. So things are not normal. Things are not right. And as the men are walking toward the apartment to see what's up with Richie, they start discussing the fact that there have been missing people. Like I think there were two children, two girls, and like a transient person. All missing they think that this guy has eaten them. There's no one in the apartments surrounding this this guy's apartment. So it was just him and Timmy. And the men go to confront him. Richie yells at them. He warns them away. He says, leave the beer. Pull the ring tabs off because I can't do that anymore. Leave the beer. And, you know, that's it. And they're like, no, we're not doing that. You have to come out here. And... When Richie comes out, he is a gray blob and he has started dividing. So like, we've got a mitosis situation going on and he's just going to start dividing and dividing and dividing. And so the men run away, they run back to the store and they wait. They hear Henry shooting at Richie and that's all. They don't see anything. They don't wait around, go back to the store and they're the end of the short story is they are just waiting to see who comes back, either Henry or the um, blob Richie thing. So it's it's silly, but I, I just, I don't know. I don't care about the, the gray blobbiness. It borders too much on alien type stuff for me. And you guys know that I am not a big alien person. So that's all we have for gray matter. Next week is Battleground. In fact, maybe I'll maybe I'll record Battleground and put it up earlier. I should be doing more videos so people have distraction. 
during this time. So yeah, maybe I'll do Battleground later this week. And yeah, I'll see you then. Have a sweet day.